Okay, welcome to this channel once again. Dirty secrets about Naira Mali exposed after Mobad's death. You know, this our industry too, as long as you are an entertainer, you must be prepared for the rumors and also the false allegations against you, especially when something as sensitive as this one happened. Now, Mobad died how many days ago, and people started pointing hands at Naira Mali because when this Nigerian music star was still alive, there's a video that he shared telling his fans to watch out and that if anything happened to him, well, they should hold Naira Mali responsible. The whole social media space, especially Twitter, has been on fire with Mobad fans setting Naira Mali's comment session with her on fire to accusing him and also pointing fingers at him and some of them even threatening to end the nigerian music star's life if they see him in public all right so as you all know a very sad and bad news hit the entertainment industry yesterday announcing the death of mobad you understand r.i.p to mobad but as a result of this a lot of people started pointing hands i've seen a lot of critic comments pointing hands towards Nera Mali and requesting for the arrest of Nera Mali. Well, I don't blame them because of this video. Everybody in your world, please help me if I die. Whoa. Nera Mali, I'm even Nera Mali, kill me. I beg, if I die, I die. Oh, guys, stop, stop this now. What is wrong with you? I now? beg, I never started What's talking. Wrong? No worries. You heard him. You heard what he said. He said, if anything happens to him, they should hold Nera Mali and Malian record. So, listening to this, obviously, I don't blame whoever is pointing out towards Nera Mali. As a matter of fact, even me, I would say the police should invite Nera Mali over for questioning. But at the same time, at the same time, there's also a message, a, a, an interview with Bella Shmoda that we counter this first part. You understand? Listen to Bella Shmoda. I don't have to say this, but I will say this. At the point, me and Mubad were in an apartment and Mubad was like, he wants to jump from the upstairs because of this labor issue. But I will go with this boy for window. Mubad don't almost jump on him. Now his girlfriend just enter the room, see Mubad sit down for window. Because of all these things. Now, um, you heard Bela Shmoda that he was also a danger to himself because there was a time where they had to save him from jumping from the story building down. He was also a threat to his own life, which is going to counter that first place where he was talking about. Cut the long story short, the truth is that that boy was going through a serious form of depression, like a serious form of depression that happened after the whole uh, Malian whatever thing. Currently now, the whole space is on fire because they don't go burn down Naira Mali house for Lekki and they intend to do more according to these fans to avenge the death of Nigerian loved music star Mobad. Well, today I'll be talking about a lot of things about Naira Mali hmm, that so many people on social media started exposing after Mobad's death. But before I continue, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, don't forget to like our post on Facebook and for more updates, click on the red subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You know, immediately Mobad passed on so many social media bloggers from Gist Lover to Cutie Jews to a lot of them, G Gossip Mill started investigating the underground reason why this Nigerian young and vibrant star would just pass away like that without anything. He was not sick. He performed last for a lot of fans. People experienced him on that special day only for them to announce his death. Hmm. And now let's talk about Naira Mali's own aspect. Gist Lover, according to Gist Lover, a popular Instagram blogger, posted on social media immediately after Mobad's death, after making some concrete investigations. I do not know how real this is because bloggers too, they just want to paint entertainers bad whenever things happen. Now, people are starting to think that it's Naira Mali. But at the end of the day, nobody self to the plan death. And death just comes to us. It's inevitable. No one knows when their time is up on earth. That's why you just have to live your life to the fullest. Because you don't know which day will be your last day. Hmm. According to Tundeno, after I said, someone said to me, 
now and it went deep into my heart. He said, some people are in the last year of their life and they don't know. So just live, love, laugh and forgive because sometimes your time fits day up. Well, so many people are commenting and also Kubana Chief Priest rushed to his Twitter to post, Mobad really went through a lot. The footage showing Islatan saving him from Sam Larry is a very sad one. More investigation should be done into what led to his death. So many things must have happened behind camera and it showed footages of Mobad being assaulted by Naramali's close associate Sami Larry anywhere in Lagos, especially number one on several occasions during a music video shoot with Islatan Ibile. Islatan even saved him. Immediately he walked out of that environment. Mobad was beaten to a pop by Sami Larry Boy, and he even posted videos of this on his social media page. Ha, no be yell. Plenty things too, they follow happen. Now, this lover is coming out here to expose a whole lot of secrets about Naira Mali and especially talking about his cult formed record label where he initiates a whole lot of boys. And they also allege that Naira Mali is using his own platform and record label to recruit boys who at the end of the day end up selling some substance for him and they make money for the Nigerian musician who happens to gift them peanuts and immediately they intend to sign out of this particular group it causes so much problem. Which brings us to the gist. Gist Lover posted a very lengthy message about it and he's still posting saying, hmm, with so much pain, I am typing this. The reason is that this boy really fought hard. He tried so hard, he gave death a tough time, but death won at last. Mobad was one of the street boys who rose to fame from the streets of Ikorodu. You know those days of making a freestyle and boom, it goes viral online. Here are some of his throwback videos of his early life. One way or the other, his, free, his freestyle video went viral. He got noticed and signed to a record label named Malian Music, owned by a certain Peckham, according to a most substance lord named Naira Mali, as his fashola. Hmm. Alongside Imole, Naira Mali also signed other young artists too, and it, 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 was, it was going on smoothly in the record. Little did they know that there's more to just being in the record label and singing alone. Now, since the record label is owned by Naira Mali, who happens to be a substance man, man where they sell some kind of illegal thing, according to Gist Lover, there are some certain sacrifices you need to do as to stay relevant in this record label. First is then go initiate you into the pushing of the substance. Second, you go take oath of secrecy never to reveal anything where they go on. Now, the boss who happens to be an ambassador to NDLEA, well, hmm, he trained them. And they were doing so well, taking and um, putting the, pushing the team for them. Then it got to the level of secrecy oath and mobile review, fused. Zeno and some other artists in the record did all the necessary oath rights, but Mobad refused. They gave him time to rethink during this particular um, 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 happenings. And because of Mobad no greed, they come side liner. Now the record label boss, left him useless in the label, but was promoting Zinoleski back to back. And trust me, during that time, if you notice, Mobad was not shining because he wasn't given that space. He even gave out one of his street sisters to Zinoleski, according to the narco. Hmm. Now that one, you can't see Zinoleski, they drop heat every day. And he was still looking like a rag, according to this person. His life is under the control of the label and he can't up out. Mobad started complaining that he needs promotion too, that Naira can be promoting Zeno alone and leave him hanging. And that's the beginning of their fight. It was from one argument to another. He got worse and they got physical most times and Naira Mali hates to be challenged so bad, but Mobad was always the one, only one for that matter, challenging him. Well, now, he now said, 
Aside from this particular record label, the boys he had, he, recu he recruits them to help push out his other illegal business. He started restricting Mobad from going out alone. If he goes out and he sees people trailing him, it was that bad. He then confided in some of his friends and they told him to run for his dear life. If not, ha, it's a lifetime contract or they take his life. Now, on hearing that, he can't summon Naramali saying he won't leave the record label. You understand? And it's so funny that a lot of people do not know. Now, I will not, if I talk, it will be as in Namino Pass, but at the end of the day, I could, I saw it through his lyrics. Even when all the, I like Mobad so much, I saw it through his lyrics. Baba was depressed because he also, he always had something put in a proverb. He always put it in codes. You understand? He was going through a lot. He was going through a lot. You understand? The whole fight with Neramali messed the boy up mentally. Messed the boy up mentally. Secondly, I don't think Neramali will want to harm the boy. To be very honest. I don't think it will be that bad. The small beef, they've gone their yeah, different way. I don't think it will be that bad that Neramali will want to hurt the boy. That but No, I don't think so. Because Mobad was not even talking too much. After the whole beef, he wasn't talking too much. So the people that are pointing out that Neramali, like straight up, should really be careful. I don't think it will be that bad. For me, I don't think it will be that bad. But then again, the heart of man is desperately wicked. We don't know what is happening. You understand? Which is why I second the idea that, yes, Neramali should be invited to be talked with. And then even from the invitation, they might know if he has beef with somebody. But then again, say, the death, it's not as if they shot him. It's not as if they stabbed him. You understand? According to what I see from saw from Kemi Olunoyo that he had one, uh, he had hypertension and he had different this thing, he had this and that and this and that, you know. And then even uh, uh, Belash mother attested that he was going to the hospital regularly for hypertension, for checkup and all these things. 